For 16 years, Diane was only able to see Travis on weekends. In between, they would write letters to one another. What I have in here is all the letters that Travis has wow. written me over the years. Sometimes I would go back and read them. Some of them were so special. Like this one here uh, was a, a Mother's Day letter. 1998. Can I open it? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where there's a well, there's a way. When I think of you, Mom, it reminds me of a clear, sunny day. When it rains, all I know, I'll always have you to hold. I love you, Travis. How could I get rid of a letter like that? It means the world to me. He means the world to me. At the same time, a lot of these letters have the extortion request in them. What do you mean? Uh, he um, had um, people who would hurt him if I didn't pay them money. Would the letters be written in his writing, or um, would the other inmates they, actually write uh, them? Other inmates would sometimes write letters, and uh, uh, Travis would just ask me to send money for um, to pay somebody. These guys, uh, a lot of them really meant business, and I couldn't take that chance. Diane had become a victim, extorted by criminals already behind bars. I have had to pay almost from the beginning, if not realizing that my culpability in that was probably making Travis less safe because once you start, they don't want to stop. I was, you know, part of the problem and I, I, I had to start seeing the doctors trying to, to help me. I feel so guilty because I put my son in this, and in, in, into this, being another victim himself. I, I paid these guys because he was safer when I paid them than when I didn't. The fear and stress over the years has taken its toll on Diane. In order to cope, she turned to her credit cards, retail therapy, to provide some sort of relief. I, I have succumbed to hoarding, purchasing things, I'm overwhelmed. I, I, I don't know what to do. So I even just, tried. You just developed this in the last I, I, I years? have. I developed major chronic depression several years ago. I was just falling apart, and I was so worried about Travis because it was so difficult at times to see and imagine, and I and often imagine the worst of what was happening with him. I just only want the best for him now, and for me to give that to him, I've got to get better. 